afternoon, sir. If you would, please tell us your name, spell your last name, and your position. Yeah, Aaron Bagley, uh, Battalion Chief, City of Santee Fire Department. My last name is spelled B-A-G-L-E-Y, first name A-A-R-O-N. Thank you, sir. So can you tell us what happened this afternoon? Well, we were dispatched to a structure fire here at the Urgent Care. Report of smoke coming. We showed up and saw smoke coming out of the front, front of the building, black smoke. Uh, crews made access to the building. We we're concerned there could be people inside, but we shortly found out that they're closed today, so high unlikelihood of, of people inside. But they extinguished the fire just in the front of the building here. Uh, the building was charged with smoke, so then it was a matter of evacuating all the smoke, doing a search of the entire building to make sure nobody was in the building. And they did confirm that the building is clear of people, there's no occupants. So the fire's out right now. Now we're just trying to minimize damage to the building. There's some water damage. There's some sensitive uh, computers and documents in there. We're just trying to protect as much as we can from the building. Now a second alarm was called. Can you tell us why? Yeah, it's the size of the building. Um, when we know there's this size of a building with a working fire, it's gonna take more in the initial five units on scene to handle it, especially if we start need to start rotating crews. They get tired, they work for 30, 45 minutes and they need a break, so we need some additional units. We ended up releasing most of the second alarm with the exception of two units. Uh, things were kind of winding down and getting things under control, and we're confident there was no more fire other than that front room. Now, we saw some items around the fire. Is the fire suspicious in nature? We don't know right now. All we know is there was a bystander that witnessed the smoke, came over, broke one of the windows to try to search for any victims in the building, and that's all we know right now. But witnesses witnessed him coming across the street, breaking the windows, and asking for anybody inside. Is the sheriff bomb and arson squad coming out? Affirmative, they're around right now. And any injuries to firefighters? No injuries, everybody's good. Uh, right now, we don't suspect any hazardous materials. Uh, we're always keeping an eye out. It's a medical building, so there could be all kinds of stuff in there, but we don't suspect any hazardous materials involved in the fire right now. This, I believe this is a two-story building. I haven't walked through it yet, but we believe so. So the damage looks like it's one office completely destroyed. It's one office completely destroyed, smoke damage throughout most of the building. And then there's some water water damage from the sprinkler system that has flooded a portion of the building as well. Anything you'd like to add, sir? Uh, no, no. Uh, fortunate, there's nobody in the building, and crews were able to get the fire out quickly. Hopefully, just minimize the major damage to that front row. Sir, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.